The biggest mistake that I made getting into cybersecurity was assuming that school prepared me for the real job. It didn't, not even close. The one skill that blindsided me was documentation. Real, detailed, non-negotiable documentation. In industries like the Department of Defense, documentation isn't just a formality. Sometimes it can be the entire job. Every decision needs justification. Why this tool? Documented. Why this configuration? Documented. Why this update? Documented. And because you're working with segmented teams, infrastructure, network, Network, system design, development, everything that you write has to make sense to people who don't do what you do. When you leave school, your world shrinks fast. You go from exploring everything to only owning a tiny slice of the system. And because you're operating under time, budget, compliance, and customer restraints, the freedom that you had in class or your home lab, it quickly shrinks. And unfortunately, that's where a lot of people start to experience burnout. The mistake that people make is thinking that cybersecurity runs so on technical work. In reality, it's often a lot of documentation and trying to get work done in a very, very tight scope. And if you're not ready for that shift, the job can feel suffocating. So what exactly is the fix here? Learn to document early and keep your curiosity alive outside of your job. Some actionable steps that I would take is to treat your home lab like a real environment and to write changes as if someone else had to follow them. Two, depending on the industry that you might be interested in, look at the documentation framework that it might require and get familiar with it. Three, and probably most important, keep at least one personal project so your creativity doesn't die under work constraints. School gives you the concepts, the job gives you constraints, and documentation is what keeps everything running. Curiosity is what keeps you from burning out.